formerly known as Cheeseburger, Ring of Honor, it's good to be back. New me, new swag, built different, I am world famous CB. I was born and raised in Trenton, New Jersey, and me and my dad would just sit there and watch the TV and enjoy and wrestling. And that was just something I grew up loving, and that eventually grew into me actually deciding to become a professional wrestler at the age of 17. I started at the Ring of Honor Dojo in 2010, and right away I was going to all the shows, helping out. Any job they needed me to do, I was there to do it. And I officially graduated in 2012, and from there I started having matches on the independent circuit. And it wasn't until 2013 where I unofficially made my Ring of Honor debut, where I was christened Cheeseburger. Charlie Haas was in the ring cutting the promo, and I was just ringside grabbing toilet paper and all the things the fans were throwing at him. And he called me in the ring and began just screaming at me on the microphone. And just in the middle of the ring, he called me Cheeseburger. And 600 fans in that arena all began chanting Cheeseburger right away. Listen to the fans! They're chanting Cheeseburger in Baltimore! And from there, I was Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger was the best and worst thing that happened to my wrestling career. It got me to great heights. It took me to Japan. I wrestled in the Tokyo Dome three times. I wrestled in front of 35,000 people. I got to tag with my mentor, my, my hero, Liger, a legend. He even passed down the Shote Palm Strike to me. I can't begin to thank the fans for embracing Cheeseburger as they did and getting me to those heights. But the perception of Cheeseburger, it's, it's, it's a novelty act. And I completely understand why. It's, it's a guy coming out with a, a stuffed cheeseburger hat, throwing burgers to the fans. I, I completely understand that, but I'm not a novelty act. I've been doing this 10 years. I'm a 10 year veteran. I'm a trainer to the future generations. There are people in the pure title tournament that I helped train. I taught them holds. I am going to break through that ceiling that the name cheeseburger placed on me. Tracy is a tremendous competitor. He made it to the finals of the pure title tournament. He is one of the best we have in Ring of Honor. As a technical wrestler, he's very bare bones. He's very basic, black trunks, hard strikes, very catch as catch can. But if I had to use one word to describe my style, it would be rhythm. Very smooth, very calculated. You know, you hear a good song, a good beat. It makes you want to get up out your seat and take notice. It makes you want to move, makes you want to dance. And when the fans see my style, I want them to look at me and they just want to get up and say, oh, that world famous CB, he's, he's good. He's smooth, he's clean. In this match with Tracy, you're gonna see holds you've never seen before. I'm gonna tie him up in so many knots he won't know what to do. Because there's not a hold I can't counter. There's not a limb I can't bend, and there's not a joint I can't manipulate. Throughout my career, my size has been my biggest disadvantage. Through years and years of study and knowledge and experience, I've turned that disadvantage into my biggest advantage in the ring. My size allows me to slip in and out of holds easier than most. My size gives me the speed to outmaneuver my opponents. My size gives me the flexibility my opponents wish they could have. In this match with Tracy, I'm going to show that all these disadvantages, all these hindrances, all these anchors that weighed me down are now my greatest weapons. The last 10 years of Cheeseburger, it, it's, it's been a fun ride. Like, I, I thank all you fans for being there with me, getting me to new heights, but now I've leveled up. I'm built different. Now, I write the music. I have the rhythm. And Tracy, you're gonna feel it. World famous CB here. Are you looking for some new drip? Head over to shophonor.com and find your rhythm.